We've taken a, a, a quite a beating the past couple of hours. Uh, uh, Anderson, our satellite truck had to be moved back away from the beach. The boardwalk has been taking some hits from the surf. Uh, we're now approaching high tide. I'm not sure how much you can see. We're broadcasting, by the way, uh, via Internet. But be behind me is uh, this boardwalk. And beyond that are a series of, of, of 12 and 15 foot berms that were built up the past couple of days in order to protect the town from getting an influx of water. Also to protect the lifeguard headquarters of, of Long Beach, which which just in the last 20 minutes has been taken off its foundation and slammed into the boardwalk. And the lifeguards and the police uh, department have been out there to assess that situation. But that is pinned right now against the uh, boardwalk as this, the full force of the Atlantic Ocean is, to, is, uh, is pounding uh, the, uh, the boardwalk here. If I just step back onto the boardwalk, then you get a sense for the winds here on the coastline. We've had winds gusting over 60 miles an hour. And that, has been, that continues to be the case now with the center of the storm obviously off to my left. Probably about 50 or so miles making its way in this general direction. Over a quarter million people, Anderson, are without power in Long Island. Right now the coastline has, has for the most part, some power. Lower shrubbery, lower, uh, fewer trees, obviously taking down less in the way of power lines. But this water right now to my left has breached the berms has come underneath the boardwalk and has made its way into town. So the first few blocks of Long Beach, Long Island is seeing some serious flooding and a flow rate of uh, what looks to be a, a, a rapids across a river that's flowing down uh, National Boulevard and uh, into the streets of Long Beach. So that's the situation behind me. And see from that's been crashing up actually at times snowing down on it. Uh, the, uh, the surf here is so intense. We will see this surge continue not only for the next half an hour and high tide will be within within the hour. Out on the boardwalk on Long Beach and I was showing you earlier when I just had the stream box up. We have our camera set up right now. I'm going to ask Jerry to pan over this way a bit. You were asking Rob earlier about those berms. This sand berm here is about five feet high. It's supposed to come up level with the boardwalk. Well, it did extend that way. It extended all the way across, and that was there an hour ago. And an hour ago, inside here was dry. And you can see the waves have just shattered the sand berm here, others further up the beach this way, and others up the way beach this way, this other up there. And the water now is flowing, and you can see if you, down through the cracks of the boardwalk, flowing out the other way. And I'm going to ask Jerry to turn all the way around and come this way, and you see the water now flowing into the streets of Long Beach. And that far street out there was dry an hour ago. That water is now between ankle and calf deep. You see the police officer at the end of the road. These streets in the low-lying areas, they go up and down, so the, the water right at the tire is there. But if you go just to the left, the water gets deeper and deeper. And if you come back here toward the water, Jerry, turn around this way, you can see the waves coming in. Jackie was just talking about the power of the water. The winds have picked up significantly. The waves are wiping out the sand along here. When you get out there, the winds just in the last hour have picked up quite a bit. The question is, there's still power.